Okay, sorry about that. Um, I got a phone call from one of my children, which very rarely happens because I'm usually with them all the time, but they're with their daddy and actually shopping. And she sent me a picture on GroupMe of a hat that she wants to get for her stepdad. And so I was like, oh, yes, he'll love that. So anyway, so my phone freaks out and it cuts off, but um, um, hopefully I was able to splice these two movies these movies these two videos so anyway I can't remember what I was saying I guess I should have watched the video I'll comment about it in the <clears throat> bottom whenever I figure it out okay anyway so these are yeah these are gonna be keychains or necklaces I have some cords I bought a lot of these too many always make a list of things that you have bought because when you buy stuff from different places you will forget if you you know if you're older like I am I just turned 50 on December 18th I am very happy to still be alive thank you Lord so I'm 50 now so here I am showing you what I'm into now okay well here's some keychains and you watch these when you buy them on eBay because it showed a picture of a little jump ring down at the bottom no, 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 no. When I got all 50 of these, there is no little jump ring at the bottom. But thank goodness I had already bought some. So. So you guys can make keychains or necklaces out of these. And I've even started some here for... Um, excuse me, I'm burping on the video. For Valentine's Day. I ordered, I found some red mica, or red eyeshadow, I should say, because it is actually eyeshadow. Uh, there's mica powder. Make sure if you're going to use eyeshadow that it says mica powder. I hope that wasn't too loud, so sorry. Um, make sure that's focusing. So, uh, I made these little keychains. So, this is actually the first things that I have made. Oh, that's talking about color theory, color theory. I, you know, I, I've... I don't even know anything about color theory, but yes, if you mix purple and yellow together or something with purple or yellow in it, it's going to turn brown. So don't do that. Uh, so here we go. We've got cute little keychains here. That's what I'm working on. So, but I did before I got this far, uh, you know, it was that, and this was like the second run I did. And the first run like you saw what it's cute but it just needed a little more and that's where you know adding adding some more eyeshadow darker color you know just I didn't want to feel the center but I ended up feeling the center I was like I have got I've got to it just looks so much better I mean really yeah this is cute I'm giving this to you Chelsea it's cute uh but it just looks better with some glittery stuff on the inside Alrighty, this is for my mother. I don't know if she'll use it. And see, it has little imperfections. I hope you can see that. It has little imperfections, but it gives it character. Now, if you want a perfect piece, then make your perfect piece. But I think things look cool when they're uh, raw and or, what's people say organic. It's organic. And I got this at Walmart. It's out now for Christmas. Probably get it for five bucks after Christmas. But that's what I got. It's the shimmers. It's just a cheap, uh, cheap eyeshadow. And I have tons of eyeshadow. So I'm like, I don't know why I bought that. I shouldn't have bought it. I guess because I wanted the blues because I didn't have any of those. And red. I don't have red, so I did buy some red. Um, so anyway, let's get back to I'm new to polymer clay. And this is my first attempt at Mocha Megane with Primo, Sculpey Primo, Polymer Clay. And yes, I did mean that Polymer what? Polymer what? You people have been making all these beautiful, cool things. You can make anything. It doesn't have to be just jewelry. People sculpt with it. There's different um, types of the clay, different brands, different types. People make some of the most awesome stuff out there. You just got to look. And, they, of course, they sell their work, too. Some people do. Some people don't. I need to sell my work. I need to make some money. Hello. Uh, I'm retired from the sawmill business. Okay, that's another story altogether. Uh, my mom and daddy owned a, or own a 
sawmill. I worked there for 14 years. I was a nurse for seven years before that. Uh, my daddy died in April of 2017. So, okay, here we are today. I am 50. I am fixing to cut some mocha megane. I have had this in the fridge to make it softer. I've had this made for a while now, but I had it in the fridge because I wanted it to be uh, one, a couple people, if you're watching, they'll put it in the fridge before they cut it to make it hard because sometimes if you're when you're manipulating the clay, it's, it's going to warm up and then it gets sticky and then it gets gooey and I need to find my glasses because I can't see. Yeah, anybody else have a bunch of readers all around their home? All right, so we've got this, you know, if you'll watch some people who do the Mocha Megane, they'll say, okay, we'll put a back layer. That's your last layer, you know, because you want to get all the good stuff from what you've been working on when you cut it, and then the back layer is always wasted. Well, I don't think, it, from what I have learned watching y'all, watching uh, these experts, is nothing is ever wasted in polymer clay. Nothing, okay? So, I'm going to actually go ahead and cut this. This is going to be my first cut from my Mocha Megane. I want you to look at it again. It's so pretty just the way it is. I mean, put a, a hole in it, put put a bale on it. I learned what a bale was. And, you know, make a necklace out of that. But anyway, we're going to cut it. This is the front. That's the back. All right? It's, if it's too... All right. And let me tell you something about these blades. I learned something about the blades. The... One of them's Sculpey brand, one of them's not. There's a thick one and a thin one. What do they call it? Tissue blade? Tissue blades. Um, do not. If you get your blades wet. Look, I wrote slicer on there. This is a new blade. If you're going to wash your blade for some weird reason, do not let it have water stay on it. Because this is, I believe these are made with steel, but it's not treated. It's not like galvanized or anything. There's, there's no protectant. So that was actually a rust spot in that. I don't know if you can see that. I might not even be in the camera. See that? That I could get that off of there, but I'm not. But that literally was rust, and it did it in a little bit of time, too. It wasn't overnight. It was just a few minutes, like an hour maybe. I don't know. All right, so I, do, I did pick out a blade to just for slicing. I'm going to use this one. I probably should be using the thinner one, but I don't want to. I want to use this one. And I'm just going to cut straight down. Some people have it like this and it'll be more rectangular it'll be bigger and they'll have it stuck really good to their tile ceramic tile like you put oops like you put on the floor and they'll slice it this way with the bendable more flexible uh watch jessima tutorials jessima tutorials her name is samantha she she's really good there's some other women i'm going to try to list them in the bottom if you want to learn Palmer Clay, you have got to go see these women's, go to their